Walk with me, let's talk. I got nine toys right here. I got the 488 Ferrari. I got the Maybach or the Maybach, whatever you want to call it. I got seven Rolls Royces right here. I like to call it Lucky Seven. So you either motivate it or you hate it. My lifestyle, money may. Floyd Mayweather is one of the most successful and highest paid athletes of all time. He's one of just three sports superstars to make more than a billion dollars throughout his career along with Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods. And when you've got money like that kicking around, you've got to find things to spend it on. Yep, that's a crazy expensive $18 million watch, but that's not the only thing Floyd likes to spend his money on. He's also a huge car collector with reportedly well over 100 cars that he calls his own, including a fleet of all white luxury cars in Los Angeles, a fleet of all black luxury sedans in Miami, a Bugatti Veyron, a Ferrari Enzo, and even a Koenigsegg CCXR Trey Vita. Never heard of that last one? Well, stick around and I'll tell you all about the this nearly $5 million car. Floyd's love for whips goes back to 1996 when he bought his first 600 series Mercedes. Since then, he's bought and sold more luxury cars than a small town dealership, including a Bentley Mulzan, a McLaren 650S, and multiple Rolls Royce Phantoms. In fact, during an interview with ESPN in 2015, Floyd stated that he had over $15 million worth of luxury vehicles just sitting in his garage, and most of these cars come from only one dealership. Tobin Motors owner Josh Tobin claims to have sold the majority of Floyd's vehicles to him over the course of about 18 years. He's even stated that Floyd usually pays for his cars in cash, so he had to buy a state-of-the-art cash counting device to handle all of those bills. With over 100 cars in his collection, it would take me a full day to break down every single car that he owns, and I don't even think you diehards would be here for a video that long, so I've decided to take a look at 13 of the most powerful cars that Floyd Mayweather has bought with his prize money. What's going on guys and girls, it's Kara and today we're taking a look inside one of the biggest car collections in the world, Floyd Mayweather's. Here for you on Famous Entertainment. We've also done car tours in the likes of Drake and Lil Uzi Vert and we'll link to some at the end. Let me know whose cars you'd like to see next in those comments down below and don't forget to like and hit subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat and now let's get into this video. Mulsanne is the most expensive Bentley you can purchase and the first one ever auctioned off was sold for $500,000. It's powered by a 505 horsepower V8 engine that generates a humongous 752 pounds per feet of torque and considering that the car weighs almost 6,000 pounds it needs all that power to get moving. It's not a typical sports car that speeds down the road, it's more focused on floating down the road and basking its occupants in supreme comfort. Bentleys are all about luxury and the Mulsanne is no different. Floyd has a taste for the finer things in life and that's why he ended up buying an entire fleet of this vehicle. A Bugatti Veyron can set you back around 1.7 million, but Floyd ended up loving this car so much he bought himself at least three. What does that almost two million dollars get you? Oh, just a thousand horsepower out of a 16 cylinder engine and a top speed of 257 miles per hour. That's so high, it's unlikely you'll ever be on a road empty enough to reach it. The vehicle is developed and designed by Volkswagen in Germany, but manufactured by Bugatti in France. And you might have seen other celebrities driving one of these around because owning one has become a symbol of wealth in America. I mean, even Tom Brady has one. The Veyron isn't the only Bugatti that Floyd's got in his garage. He also owns a Bugatti Chiron, which is more or less an upgraded version of the aforementioned vehicle. Ownership of this car is so exclusive that only people who had already bought a Veyron were offered the opportunity to purchase one of these newer models, which means the Bugatti contacted Floyd directly to see if he wanted one. What do you think he said? Of course, Floyd jumped at the chance to pay $3.5 million to add this car to his collection, but he wasn't the only one. In fact, the first 200 units of this car sold out before production had even begun. This car features a top speed of apparently 267 miles per hour, but is capable of going as fast as 288 miles per hour. Reportedly, Bugatti put a limiter on it to make sure it never reaches that top speed for safety reasons. The car features 1,479 horsepower, which is a type of strength not seen since the medieval times when only armies had that type of power at their disposal. Hello! 
This Ferrari 458 Italia isn't as fast as those two Bugattis, but where this car really shines is when it takes corners. It's designed to handle like a dream and is equal parts luxurious and exotic. Floyd liked this car so much that he got two versions, the standard version and the convertible. The 458 is the successor to the F430. It inherited the Maserati V8 engine, but was fully refreshed in terms of technology and a brand new design. The second Ferrari we're going to take a look at in this video is named after the founder of the company and is known as the Ferrari Enzo. It features a 651 horsepower V12 engine, which pushes the car's top speed to around 220 miles per hour. There are only around 400 units of the car ever created, which means that its value is off the charts. Floyd reportedly paid around $3.2 million so that this car could sit in his garage. This car was built with non-regulated F1 technologies, which was a first for race cars. It features aerodynamics plus computer-activated traction control, which means it was designed to handle the curves of a lap track as quickly as possible. Apparently, Floyd enjoys driving this vehicle so much that he's already put around 500 miles on it, which considering the number of cars that he owns is a lot. The Pagani Huayra was also a car produced in limited quantities. There was only 100 of them manufactured through 2015. It features a twin turbocharged V12 engine created by Mercedes specifically for this vehicle. With its 720 horsepower, it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds. Floyd paid around $1.4 million for this car and Top Gear named it the Hyper Car of the Year back in 2012. When McLaren decided to build a follow-up to the McLaren F1, one of the most popular cars ever made, the engineers at McLaren didn't try to build a better car, instead they built a different one, called the MP412C, a supercar that ended up being blindingly fast. While the updated version of that car is the McLaren 650S, which is even more powerful, faster, and dominant around the track. The McLaren 650S was first unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show back in 2014 and featured a limited top speed of 207 miles per hour and can go from 0 to 62 miles per hour in under 3 seconds. Now there are a couple variants to this model and Floyd owns a 650S Spider. This version is a convertible that weighs about 40 kilos more than the coupe version. The interior uses race bread technology to give it a premium feel that provides the balance of luxury and excitement that Floyd is no doubt looking for in all of his cars. The selling price for the Spider version starts at around 500 k While the development of a lot of supercars can leave them all looking the same, the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG is one car that's looking to buck that trend. It's a limited two-seater luxury supercar and was quoted by Top Gear star Jeremy Clarkson as the greatest car in the world and the thinking man's supercar. High praise like that means that a whole crowd of celebrities were looking to snatch one up, including the likes of Lewis Hamilton, Cristiano Ronaldo, and even Al Pacino. Of course, you can also add Floyd's name to that list. He would have paid over 200 k for this one. The follow-up to the Lamborghini Murcielago, the Lamborghini Aventador, was designed on an evolution of the former model's look, but under the skin it was all new and featured 700 horsepower with a V8 engine. Delivery of this car started in late 2011 and there were only 12 of them sold at the time with Floyd being one of the first early adopters. The base price for this car is around 500000 but can go up to as high as a million if additional features are added. Perhaps in need for something a little more practical to drive, Floyd purchased this German-engineered Porsche 911 Turbo Cabriolet. He bought a convertible version that has over 520 horsepower and can hit 60 miles per hour in just 3 seconds. Despite its practicality, this version of the 911 Turbo is probably one of the least expensive cars in Floyd's garage, only setting him back around $200,000. This two-door luxury sports car has actually been in production since 1963. Much like with the Bentley Mulsan, Floyd reportedly has an entire fleet of Rolls-Royce Phantoms to cruise around in. Rolls-Royce will customize their vehicles in any way that their customers want, with the only limitation being how much the customer is willing to spend, so you know that means for Floyd, the sky was the limit. The average Phantom costs around $400,000 and Floyd owns at least 6 rolls, some of which have 0 miles on them. All of Floyd's Phantoms are custom fitted with an armored BR7 level ballistic rating and Josh Tobin of Tobin Motors said that Floyd actually owns 16 Rolls Royce Phantoms. Our final car is the Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita and I mean can anyone even pronounce the name of this car accurately? I have no idea but I gave it my best shot guys. 
One thing's for sure, despite the name being practically unsayable, it didn't stop Floyd from adding it to his collection. Even the astronomical $4.8 million price tag didn't stop him from scooping this bad boy up back in 2015. What makes this car so special? Well, it's one of only two in the entire world and Floyd owns one of them. It features a top speed of over 254 miles per hour and is powered by a 4.8 liter twin supercharged flex engine that produces an astounding 1,018 horsepower. But the one thing that most people tend to notice about this car is a diamond weave in the carbon fiber finish. The $4.8 million price tag makes this the most expensive car that Floyd owns, and the second unit is reportedly owned by a wealthy guy out in Geneva. Alright guys, I think we're gonna wrap this video up there. What did you guys think about some of Floyd's most expensive and powerful cars? Remember, this is only the tip of the iceberg for him. He reportedly owns close to like 80 more vehicles, so I honestly don't know how he keeps track of them all. I could barely keep 13 of them straight. Let me know which car of Floyd's you guys like the most and don't forget to follow me on Instagram so we can continue the conversation. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!